So for those of you who don't know, I do believe that there is a major colorism issue when it comes to basketball whites. These women have one set of rules for them and one set of rules for me. is making it crystal clear. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, please do click that button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It's just one click, click that button and subscribe for daily consistent constant content and follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. I'd really appreciate it. Now I thought I would do a little bit of a, you know, rift, let's just say, when it comes to this type of video because normally my content is catered to UK related media and you know what's going on in UK pop culture. But I thought I would swift turn that we can head back to the US because if you don't know the show called Basketball Wives, I'm pretty sure most of, my, most of my subscribers would have heard of it, know of it, watched it, or still watch it. Now, this season is actually doing pretty well in terms of drama and content, but however, there seems to be a consistent issue when it comes to colorism, when it comes to really dark skinned black women, mainly black women, obviously, because it's Basketball Wives, with you know, African related prominent features, i.e. OG, if you haven't watched her on the show, who has been continuously bullied and continuously targeted, but you know, everybody gets bullied and targeted when it comes to reality TV shows. That in itself isn't the issue for me. The issue for me is that one is perceived to be aggressive. I'm angry. I think that's what you need to be, a football player. Well, you gotta find a way to get away from that. To be angry, to have issues, whereas other people are placed at a different level and obviously this is due to colorism, which is due to different shades of skin color, because evidently if one was placed as the same as others or similar to OG in terms of looks and aesthetics, then I'm sure they would also have been typecasted as aggressive individuals, people with issues, people who want to do X, Y, Z and are angry all the time and want to fight all the time, even though we've seen people who, you know, have been far more aggressive, but they're not placed with these labels. He's gonna, you know, severely get hurt. Now this has become a consistent issue and I do watch the show even this latest season now and then when I see videos on YouTube and I see full episodes and I just watch it here and there and you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people do anyways but I don't watch it religiously. But every time I do watch an episode or scenes OG for example and this season and last season but especially this season is always typecasted as being somebody who is very aggressive. Being somebody who always has you know major issues and she's always attributed to masculine related traits rather than feminine related traits even though she is a female even though she is a woman and it is becoming tiring and quite irritating we also have other individuals like evelyn for example if you guys don't know who she is obviously one of the main characters main actresses main reality stars whatever you want to call it via the show who you know has been very aggressive herself has ran up on people has thrown drinks on people has physically fought people everything that for example, OG has not done as of yet on the show, but obviously she's far more newer. Um, but yet she isn't cast with this aggressiveness. And she's obviously a lighter skin tone. She is obviously, I believe, American Latina. So she, you know, she is of that descent. And she really isn't typecasted at all as being aggressive. She isn't, you know, being told about as somebody who has issues, who needs to be taken care of, who is somebody who needs to be, you know, spoken to. People need to guard them. I'm calmly responding and I'm aggressive. Well, you know, she never really is given this label at all, especially by other individuals on the show, especially by Shawnee herself, who's also an executive producer, but also somebody who I feel like is a heavy instigator and somebody who I feel should not be on the show simply because you are an executive producer and you cannot have both limelights on the show. It's simply unfair and I feel like you need to remove yourself in order to be a fair and, you know, biased, unbiased kind of show. Now, if we retract it and take it back to colorism, there obviously are other issues. Now, to retract it and take it back to colorism, which is obviously the main point, this has been taking place on the show and it has gone throughout recurring. We have obviously when it comes to Jackie's daughters, for example, Takari, which is one daughter, and maybe the other one, I can't remember her name, she was obviously of a lighter skin tone and was treated far more better than Takari. A lot of people already know of this and how one daughter was treated quite badly due to the fact that obviously there are completely different shades of tone of skin and Takari wrote this all about it in her book 
and obviously it was very scandalous at the time and a lot of people spoke about it it was very troublesome but we had that issue and then we had it again back on basketball wives um, Miami where we have Tammy and we have this other individual and she wasn't you know I can't remember what her name is but she was there for a minute on the show as a guest as a friend and she was getting a lot of the heat by everybody as well it seems that those individuals who are very dark skinned the most dark skinned and the most you know people who represent aesthetically African related features you could say or you know they are always attract always associated with masculinity always associated with being targeted being bullied being typecasted being the aggressive one the troublesome one the one who's looking for stuff the one who needs to be guarded the one who needs to be you know magnified and looked down upon because they have these issues and people need to look after them this is the continuous narrative that we have been continuously seeing throughout this entire franchise but especially especially this season and especially this particular last handful of episodes Luckily for people like OG, she can really hold her own and she knows how to look after herself and everybody knows that this is an individual who can definitely fight. I don't intend to review this show episode by episode but I definitely did want to get into this particular kind of scene and this discussion because I feel like I have seen a lot of people now beginning to speak about it, they're talking about it and it's obviously quite unfair. We have people like Evelyn who's always treated to a higher level as opposed to people like OG. These women have one set of rules for them and one set of rules for me. is making it crystal clear and obviously it's because of their skin tone their shade and how they appear aesthetically and unfortunately it's very sad I do feel like some of it is consciousness and do some of it is most definitely subconscious as well and it definitely seems to be an issue now I don't know how this is going, you know, going to be solved or you know, if there's going to be a solution to this. I just feel like this is an issue and I wanted to start a conversation on this channel so that we can talk about it in the comments box below and that you guys can let me know if you watch the show, do you guys watch it, do you guys know of this issue? Obviously I will insert clips of points that I can provide you know, my proof of what I'm talking about so you guys can get a gist of what I'm saying if you haven't actually ever watched this show. But I'm sure that many of you guys have heard of it or watched it but it is unfortunately very unfair and it seems that people of lighter skin shades are always given the kind of tone of you know they're being playful they're not as aggressive they can get away with things more easily or they're perceived in more better light or they're more just they're just fight there it's more easier for them to be disassociated from aggressive related situations and you know we have people like Evelyn who is very aggressive on the show I feel like who has aggressive issues there's nothing wrong there is nothing wrong with that you can, you can help yourself and you know find therapy etc etc but she, she definitely has issues and she has run up on people beaten people thrown drinks on people yet she has never been given that label throughout her entire time especially on the season you know either the term sassy is given or fiery or whatever but you know we have people like OG who really hasn't done anything but has defended herself and kept herself very truthful and real to herself yet she has issues and wants to you know is aggressive and everything just because one she said that she will get up and you know kill you or get up and will do xyz like that's different to people actually attempting to do so and attempting to actually hurt people and damage them i'm calmly responding and i'm aggressive Clay's gonna you know severely get hurt it's not that i want to kill everybody every day it's that i'm letting you know stop pushing me I think that's what you need to be a football player. We well, gotta find a way to get away from that. But you know, there obviously are ridiculous amount of double standards on the show. I've Malaysia was somebody who I really liked on the show. I don't watch it religiously, but she was somebody that I really liked, especially season five and six when you know Brandy was in town and you know she was on the new girls. Although she wasn't really a new girl, she was an OG, but like when you know when the cast has all got mixed together. But now we have a really, you know, saving face and really sucking up to people like Evelyn and Shawnee and I just feel like it's just disgusting and I have so much loss for her like I really liked her as a character I really liked her as an individual she's one of my favorite but that's just come completely down the drain it's been shattered completely and it's just such a shame because I thought she was somebody who would hold herself with integrity but I just feel like now she just definitely doesn't and she clearly is you know just following in the footsteps and the shadows of Shawnee and Evelyn and I just feel like why would you do that? You can see what clearly is going on here irrespective you should stand up for what is right for the injustices and I feel like a lot of people are disappointed in her and it's just it's just a bit of a shame like I don't think anybody saw it coming but yeah anyways 
set aside my opinions, my colorism was the main issue that I wanted to really talk on because I feel like that is definitely a reoccurring theme that I've seen this entire franchise, but especially this season, especially in the last couple of episodes. Hopefully you guys have watched the show, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about so that we can get a dis in interesting, engaging conversation going on in the comments below. Please do subscribe, click that button for daily and consistent content, I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, just head over there and follow me too, I'd really appreciate that. Comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you believe Do you believe in agree what I'm saying? Or do you feel like OG isn't typecasted? Do you feel like she is? Do you even know who she is? What do you think of Evelyn? What do you think of this recurring theme of colors that we have seen in this entire um, franchise? Let me know, comment down below, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.